In this video, I'm going to show you how to create cutting using Corona Render for 3ds Max. Now, what I did is I brought in my cutting models inside 3ds Max and I applied this um, default material. Okay. The color is just come to the value and set it to 90. And it, it wasn't be the same as mine, but in case you want to do what I did. All right. So reflection level one, glossiness is 0 0.6. Then the color set the value to 120 and apply it to the curtains. Okay, so let me start my interactive rendering so that we're going to see what we're going to have. Okay, this is just what we are having now. Everything is white. Okay, not white, white, but okay. So the first one we're going to create is the, you know, transparent, the almost transparent one, the one that is um, see-through. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate this. Select that. But this is the one that is going to be almost see true and apply this to it. Okay, so first thing first, I want to, first of all, adjust my translucency. I'm going to select the translucency fraction. Once I do this, it is going to start allowing light to pass through it. So the translucency, I'm going to select and add 0 0.5 to it. Okay, when I do that, you can see it's already allowing light to pass. Okay. Another thing I can do to make this thing look a little bit, you know, realistic is to bring it my fall off. You know, for this type of cuttings, you don't have to actually do too much. Okay. I'm going to show you how you can just do less than intended. <laughs> I see how something really nice. So, um, in the maps, I'm going to go over to general and I'm going to get my fall off like so. And I'm going to apply this fall off to the opacity color. Okay. And then maybe hold on, apply it also to the diffuse. Now I want to explain how this opacity color works. Okay, when I select this thing, all right, the way it is now, when you are looking something perpendicular, looking at something perpendicularly, it is going to be black. And when you are seeing something that is parallel, it is going to be white. Now, I'm going to be looking at this color perpendicularly. That means most of what we are going to be seeing, it is going to be black. And what happens when you apply something that is black to the opacity color? It becomes invincible. Okay? When you apply white stuff to the opacity color, that stuff becomes what? Visible. Like you will be able to still see it. But when it is black, the opacity color will make it transparent. That is how opacity color works. So now, this is telling us that when we are looking at this cotton perpendicular, it's going to be black. That is why we are not seeing our cotton. Okay, you can see that the cotton is almost invincible right now. So what do we do right now? What we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to swap this color. Okay, we are going to swap it. Now, when I do that, you notice that we are seeing a lot of our cotton because most of this cotton, we are seeing it perpendicularly so now the effect of this opacity color is too much one of the ways we can reduce it is selecting this in the color and making it a little bit a little bit you know gentler or softer and then i'll select this white bring it a little bit to this place okay so that way we are going to be in fact let me take the white back okay and even reduce this one further all right, we are having a cutting that we can see. Okay, can you see? This is the translucent color over there. Now I can come over here and do a little bit of an adjustment. Okay, just to get the best out of this. I'm gonna set it to smooth. Okay, and then move it a little bit. All right. So that's how you create the translucent one. So I cannot say, okay, let me add additional map. Okay. You just go to the description and check this out. I'm going to put the, the maps that I'm using in the description for you. So I can decide to bring in additional map to add, to make this, to increase the realism of the curtain. All right. So i'm going to in the bump i'm going to bring out corona normal oh. and i'm going to apply this to this and i'm going to add gamma to input then this i'm going to use as an additional pump 
Okay. All right. So this is what we're having. You can see the fold on the cotton that we added using the bump. All right. So let's go ahead and do the other ones for the drip. Okay, I'm going to be doing something like velvet, something velvety. Okay, for the drips, so that it will be when the base, depending on the angle you are looking at the cotton from, you are going to be seeing, you know, kind of different colors. Okay, like three or four different colors. We are going to be working with three, so I'm going to select this and I'm going to apply it to that particular one. All right, so I'm going to bring in, this is going to be the light cotton. So I'm going to bring in the light color in. And I'm going to, I'm not going to apply it straight. I'm going to bring in color correction first. So let me go ahead and bring in the color correction. And then I'm going to bring in fall off. Okay, then composites, composite. As like I said, I'm going to be using three materials. So I'm going to select this composite. And I'm going to... Oh. Okay. Let's use only three. So I'm going to just apply this to this. I'll come over here and make some changes to the color using the gamma. So here I'm going to make this point 0.6. Okay. And I'm going to apply it to the first layer. I'm going to duplicate this now. I'll take this back a little bit and make this 1.2. Okay, I'm going to apply this to the second layer. Now, I want to use this layer to decide where I want to show this particular color or this particular color. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it to this one. Okay, so the, the I'm going to duplicate this again. We're going to adjust that fall off as we go on but for now. Let's just create the different shades that we show when depending on the angle that you look at this cutting from. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it to the layer three. Then another fall off which I'm going to apply here underneath. Okay, I'm going to get color correction and then uh, a color map. This color map I'm going to use as reflection. Okay, and then I'm going to pass this entire material, the composite material that I've created through this color correction. Okay. I'm going to let me let me just leave it for now i will figure out what is best for it as we go on so i'm going to use corona mix map corona mix and i'm going to put this one at the top i'm going to make this totally black can I use corona color map or this map it doesn't really matter just get something black put it at the top and then put this particular one at the base yes then now you can put it into the diffuse okay now we are seeing something you can see the way this material is looking it's looking like you know something silky i don't know if you understand so it's looking silky so let me come and work on it more for you to give me what i actually want okay so i am um, everything is looking in order but I am just going to do something here. I'm going to add a point in this middle so I can shift. Okay, select it and make it base here. Okay, so I'll move it. Can we see in this thing? I'm going to do pan zoom and go close to this cutting a little bit like this. So I'll be appreciating what I'm doing. 
Okay. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna drag this up a little bit more. Okay. Just you know, look at the way the color is showing and then try and do something like that. No, the curve, I mean, the way the curve is showing and try and do something like that. Then for this down part, I'll, I'll do almost the same thing, but this one is going to be a little bit sharper. Okay. I'll move it like that to that side. Okay. So uh, that is how I create that type of cutting. I need that cutting to be a little bit brighter. And that is where this comes in. So I'll come over here and then I'll make this like 1.5. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's to that's to getting rid of all my color. 1.2. One point one. Let me see the entire thing while I'm doing this. Yeah, one point one isn't that bad. So I'm going to just take my the material that I'm using to bump things up, and I'm going to plug it to the bump. Okay, that will add some, you know, gentle rumplings. Okay, this is not gentle. This is actually huge. Okay, this is huge. So I'm just going to increase the size. Let me make this 0.5. Then for this one, let me make it a bit bigger. Uh, two. Five. <coughs> so two point five, two point five. I'm just gonna go and uh, reduce the bump a little bit. Let's see, because uh, the bump is showing too much, and uh, uh, this cutting shouldn't be that rumpled. I mean based on the type of material but you can see just a tiny bit of rump hole which is not bad so for this other one it is virtually the same thing that i did here i'm going to do so i'm just going to hold on first this corona mix uh -huh. so i'm going to change this to mix okay when i do that i see everything turns to black so i'm going to change this to like 0.5 that will review the stuff back Okay, point four. Okay, let me see. See, soft light. I think soft light is better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it point five. Yeah, so I was like, ah, something is wrong somewhere. So that's it um, for this particular one. Let me see if I make this 1.2. What we're going to have, saturate it a little bit. Yeah, so for this next cutting that is going to be darker, exactly the same thing that we did here. So I'm just going to take this down. I'm just going to select this, okay? And I'm going to go to where the map is. And I'm going to drag in the color, okay, 120. That's the dark color. And then replace it with this one. And then select that other cutting at the end. Now select this material. And I'll apply it to it. So you have the dark color, the dark colored cutting. So it, you can see that's how you create your cutting in Corona Render for three years max. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. 
And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.